in their thousands they came, this time outside Downing Street with a message for their government. The British government is sustaining the State of Israel. In fact, the State of Israel couldn't exist for a single week if it weren't for the support of the United States, Britain and other Western states. So we're going from Downing Street to the Israeli embassy and we're saying both to the Prime Minister of this country and to the Israeli state, this has to stop. The British government, they need to stop lying and they need to stop being the cowards that hide behind Israel's tail because Israel cares not a jot about UK. Organisers said 15,000 people turned out despite a ceasefire that has put an end to the latest war on Gaza. They've already broken the ceasefire. They killed some innocent civilians on the border just uh, 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 yesterday. For us, this isn't about a ceasefire. They have denied the freedom of the Palestinians for over 60 years and they're going to continue to deny that freedom and they're going to continue to have incursions and kill innocent civilians. And until those people are free, then we're always going to come down. I've travelled all the way from Birmingham uh, to Colchis, full of people. We've come here because we're outraged of what Israel is doing to Gaza and we're going to keep coming here until uh, the siege is broken and until Palestine is free. Public opinion is changing. During Israel's onslaught on Gaza, several opinion polls showed that a majority, not an overwhelming one, but still a majority of Brits did not agree with Israel's action. Demonstrators here are demanding the government hears that call, hears their call, saying to the government, stop your blanket support of Israel. Regional politics was also on the agenda here. This was the first major military assault on Gaza since the Arab Spring, and all eyes were on the region to see if things have really changed. Here in Britain, protesters had a mixed response. The Arab response since the Arab Spring has been better, but it's still not enough. Um, Cast led in 2008, 2009, when there was a ground invasion, happened before the Arab revolutions, and this happened after the Arab revolutions. Israel has lost an important degree of support from the state of Egypt. It's lost uh, support from the Turkish state. It's much more isolated than it was, and I think that that's to the advantage of the Palestinians, but much more could have been and should have been done. More then needs to be done. The end of violence without a ground invasion is being seen as a victory for Gaza. These protesters say, though, they won't take their eye off the ball. They say until there's an end to the siege and a state of Palestine, there is still work to be done. Nervous Malala from Press TV, London. In Paris, thousands convened at a boisterous rally in condemnation of Israel's aggression in Gaza. For many, the injustice and bloodshed is a recurring nightmare from which the world must finally wake up. La France soutient Israel. The French government supports Israel and it has not made the least protest against the bombing of Gaza. France should cut diplomatic and cultural ties with Israel and encourage Europe to impose sanctions against Tel Aviv. As soon as the last Israeli settler left, Gaza became Israel's shooting gallery. Since 2005, some 3,500 Palestinians have been killed as compared with just over 100 Israelis. Palestinians have the right to live in peace, but they will never come close to having normal lives with Israel's constant and inhuman aggression. While Israeli violence can easily be viewed as business as usual, many are examining the possible political motivations. Israelis will go to the polls in January, and in recent election cycles, it has been regular practice to use dead Palestinians in order to win Israeli votes. The war could be a taste of things to come, as Israeli diplomats have been warning that the regime could, quote, go crazy if Palestine is recognized by the UN in the long-awaited vote for recognition. This war will ultimately backfire on Israel. The Arab uprising has changed the political situation and the new regimes are sparking a renewed international effort to stop Israel. The blockade on Gaza, the war against democratically elected Hamas, the unrelenting apartheid policies, the latest round of bombings all contribute to making Gaza one of the poorest areas in the world. But the world will soon find out if the international community cares about the rights of Palestinians. The truce in Gaza may be holding, but international anger towards Israel has only just begun. 
Israel has escaped accountability before, but the world may finally stop looking the other way and vote in favor of Palestinian recognition at the UN next week.